Hello preschool friends, this is Miss Fali again. I'm back with more fun with rhyming games. Do you remember last week we talked about rhyming? Anyone can tell me what rhyming is? Yes, rhyming is when you have words with the same ending sound. For example, we have cat and mat. Cat, mat. They both have the at ending sound. So they rhyme. The same thing with fin and pin. Fin has the in ending sound. Pin has the in ending sound. So they rhyme. Fin and pin. What do you think of cat and fin? Do they rhyme? No. Cat has the at ending sound and fin has the in ending sound. They don't rhyme. So boys and girls, I think you're ready for another round of Come Rhyme With Me, a book by Hans Wilhelm. We'll resume with the letter H. H is for hippo, who is very large and fat. If one should ever sit on you, he would squash you. Flat. Oh, no. Fat. Flat. They rhyme. I is for iguana, a scary little creature, frightening your classmates and most of all your teacher. Creature. Teacher. J is for Jaguar, who has a lot of spots. Get out your pencil and connect the dots. Spots, dots. Do you think he looks happy? Mm -hmm. K is for Kangaroo, with a baby in her Pouch, jumping up and down on grandma's leather couch. Pouch, couch. Grandma won't be happy. L is for llama, who you shouldn't poke or hit. Because when they get angry, those llamas sure can... Spit. Hit. Spit. M is for moose with huge antlers on his head. They must be such a nuisance when he's sleeping in his bed. Head. Bed. Do you think they look comfortable? N is for Newt, who left her water whole. To live happily ever after in our toilet bowl. Whole, bowl, they rhyme. Do you think you may have a Newt in your toilet bowl? I hope not. Boys and girls, this is the end for today. We'll resume next week with the letter O. And uh, you've done such a great job, boys and girls. I'm so proud. I'll see you next week, all right? Love you. Bye.